everybody this is michael at fouch fabs and uh we we're at our second install today on a friday and it's a uh it's a neat little home um it's it's different it's outside the box it's it's a very cool home uh the customer has this wooden raised bar that she really likes and wants to keep so we're gonna uh try to integrate the raised bar into it but we don't have a whole lot of overhang here so we're going to see what we can do to you know make everybody happy with this situation so the first thing we did was took our clips out around the uh cooktop opening which is in tony's hand so that we can put our cooktop bag in there so that when we do the final cuts inside the home uh the cooktop bag catches all the dust and prevents it from getting in the cabinets and so on and so on uh, we have checked our templates uh this job has a very large sink i think it was 31 inches if i remember correctly uh that's the opening that's not counting the lips so we're going to clear out the rest of the wood in this sink opening take out this plumbing so that uh, it doesn't get broken or anything and uh, set the sink in the hole so that we don't have trouble getting it in after we get started um as you can see we've already covered up the floor with our blankets to prevent scratching the hardwoods and uh we're just going to move forward from here. Um, just wanted to tell you, you know, kind of the startup procedure like we always do in the videos. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll do what I can to answer them. But uh, I will show you uh, where we're at periodically throughout. Oh, the drive up here was tedious. I had to get, uh, the customer had to get a, someone to come pull me out with a tractor. So I'll show you on the way out how steep it is. I was too stressed uh when i was stuck to video but uh all right i'll touch base with you throughout all right guys i just wanted to uh show you this is something that we uh run into and it's going to save us a lot of uh stress and trouble had we not noticed it and uh fixed it beforehand all right so uh i don't know how well you can see in the video but over here and anybody that's done installs for any amount of time knows and understands we have a uh, bump out here okay so the top is notched for that bump out so we've probably got a quarter three sixteenths inch bump out there um so we need to go into this wall at least that much to get by so what i'm going to do is go ahead and take my multi-tool notch the wall run the vacuum so i can push my top in there to get by that notch not damage the top or the cabinet and then we'll take a uh, suction cup or a uh, grippo or something and just pull it right back out. Um, so I'll, I'll show you the, the aftermath after we're finished and uh, you, you'll understand a little better. Those of you that install, you already know. All right, guys, I just wanted everybody to see. I started pulling the uh, cooktop bag off, but I wanted you guys to kind of see what they're for. They catch all this dust and stuff and keep it from getting down in the cabinets and getting down on the uh, rollers for the drawers and all that. And, you know, if you tape it around real good, um, it, it does a good job of, of keeping it as long as uh, the guy running your vacuum don't grab it and rip it apart. Uh, but, uh, so I totally recommend, you know, they're not that expensive. You can get them from Braxton and Bragg buy yourself some cooktop bags and put them in there to save you and your customers a world of stress okay guys so i've put my seam together here but uh where it goes together in the front we're going to polish that so it's nice and smooth i've taken my drawer out here what i did is took some paper towels and some tape and just taped over the hole so that my dust and water from polishing doesn't get in my hole you're just doing everything you can to not make the customer's house a mess. Um, you know, you're installing granite countertops in here. There's going to be a little dust and dirt and stuff like that. And they understand that. But they also appreciate you doing your best to, to keep it at a minimum. So uh, this is just another thing that we do to try to prevent from making a mess. <laughs> 